Yes, I'm the greatest rapper that's in the Aries. You must to go against me, you need a bigger pair of these. Cause I was on the beast diet, turning rappers to Hibachi steak. Rappers in a cocky plate, I'm not the one to turn it to Hibachi steak. Lost these tapes, not your favorite rapper, probably driving plays. If you do seven group pressure, like we do special. You head on the loose, head on your crew head on. And if you down bad, nigga, tough luck. Throwing dirt up on him cause he washed up Not the same when you kissing on me, talking on me finished. Yeah, I heard your new release And I thought that it was sweet We Joy, I swear I don't know where they started Do you take your shots? I said my hit man You won't even know what's me If you wanna own me, I'm the ammo That's gonna make your soul is clean Then I'm scabbing on your man Cause I'ma let the vote see Cooking rappers is tradition Just to let the coke hit Okay, so it has become apparent that recently, Aries, J. Judy, and Pretty Ugly may have been exchanging lines. There has been some tracks that have been specifically dropped just to respond to each other. And both tracks were released unofficially. But none of these guys at this point will ever admit that they were taking shots at each other. And still, at this point, a lot of people still don't get it. They aren't yet convinced that there's something going on there. But well, in this episode of Inside, we will look into that situation and try to explain what's going on. Apologize. Okay, so where did this whole thing start? Yeah. First of all, with the raps, I'm in first place. Worst case, I leave a rapper needing first aid. Second of April is the birth date. Pretty ugly first and second, you rappers are in third place. It started with a pretty ugly freestyle and in that freestyle pretty ugly had some lines that seemingly were aimed at Nasty C, A Weast and Shane Eagle. He said in one of his lines that flies with the bars I put an eagle in a best cage. And fans managed to link that to Shane Eagle. In the other line he said that I'm the greatest rapper that's an A Weast you not to go against me, you need a bigger pair of these, referencing balls. Yes, I'm the greatest rapper that's in the Aries. You not to go against me, you need a bigger pair of these. Which was seemingly aimed at A Weez because he mentioned A Weez is a star sign. As well, A Weez does have a line saying, the only thing I got in this world is my word and my balls. All I got in this world is my word and my balls. Yeah. And then he came to Nasty C saying, see, I'm nasty, no cap, let's rap. You can't be having bad hair if you're making tall racks. See, I'm nasty, no cap, it's all rap. You can't have bad hair if you be making tall racks. Nasty being exactly that, Nasty C. Bad hair is Nasty C's album, whereas tall racks was his label. And the manner in which those lines were delivered made it seem like innocent wordplay. A lot of his fans came out in pre ugly defense saying that that was not a shade to those rappers. They were saying we don't know what a diss track is and this is how this whole thing managed to escalate with very little attention from the fans. Pretty Ugly was sneak dissing under pretenses of innocent wordplay. But then in his album, he had a track which he shaded Aries on being Handful of Dust which also included potential lines for guys like Shane Eagle and Casper Invest too. He had a line saying, Rappers in a cocky plate, I'm not the one to turn it to her like she stay glossy, stay like your favorite rapper probably grab and play, which was referencing Aries' track, Hibachi. Cause I was on a beast diet, turning rappers to Hibachi stay. And then he had a line saying, You wouldn't scare me if you rap like Cole, do drugs like Thug, or sound like Drake. You won't scare me if you rap like Cole, do drugs like and so obviously from those lines you can tell that sounding like cold was directed at jay whereas sounding like drake and Aries Demon were basically aimed at Aries, whereas Mufasa eating an antelope and building a school before by Benley was directed at Casper. But Pretty, on his latest podcast interview, denied that. Here's what he said. But what is it specifically that you say that you think people might be like, okay, he's talking about this person here, he's talking about this person here? For sure, on, well, no, the song in question is um, Handful of Dust. Sure. So on the song, Handful of Dust, there are lyrics there that are that people, you know, think are about people, and they are about certain rappers, but it's mm -hmm. not really about them, you know? Yeah. It's like, you know, you know, or when you're playing like 
one on one basketball or three on three basketball. It's about like you're not trying to kill the next dude. You sure. know what I'm saying? But you know, hey bro, I'm gonna I'm gonna cross you over. Mm -hmm. You know, because I'm shining the spade too. It's a know? young trash and talk. It's just like, you know, so on handful of dust I say, you know, because Rich you know, I say Reese because you know he's uh, the slimes are I am mentions like a lot, you know. Ooh. Hey but shout out to the slimes, <laughs> it's so dope to see someone, you know, people people getting that much support and that's this yeah. is all love to these dudes. Yeah. Like Reese love, you know? Yeah. We love what they're doing. Um so you know, so he's he's got a song called Hibachi and on Hibachi he's like, yo, I, I think I'm getting body weight. Yeah. I'm on a beef diet turning rappers to Hibachi state. state. Sure. So I was like, okay, cool. Um, he probably is turning rappers into Hibachi state. I'm not one of them. That's what I'm saying. Sure. So, so my response even to that is not even like a response. It's like, yo, rappers in a cocky place. I'm not the one who's turned into Hibachi state. Lost his taste. Not your favorite rapper probably dropping plates. Copy paste, I'm Haley Selassie in Versace shades. Sure. I need a Maserati just to match my Liberace grace. Sure. You know, so it's like obviously people are oh he just reads like it's actually like not a diss. It's just actually saying, just clearing my name. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just actually just like, yo, I'm clearing my name from that. Because it could have been day, easily you know? said that oh Reese is diss dissing every rapper in the game and For that sure. wasn't said. Exactly. People just saw that as like no, he's but he's he's the game. But really Almost all the rappers on earth, including Pretty Ugly, have a song where they come out and say that they will do this and this to this rapper or that they're this and this and these other rappers are not. I've never heard anyone come out and say that they responded to some other rapper because he had a line addressing rappers in general. Pretty Ugly must just say that he wants beef, which is completely normal and healthy, instead of hiding behind PR answers. One of the reasons why it became clear that Pretty Ugly was going for A Reese is because there is a second track on that album with lines aimed at Aries. The second track is Rap Relay where he has lines saying that Leave your crew severed, group pressure, got dudes magic. New header on a newsletter where your crew end up. Blood ain't thicker than cheese, I'd rather ooze the cheddar. <laughs> And he was referencing Aries's crew and their split, as well as Blood In, Blood Out by Aries, which was made after Flame left the crew. And still, as you know it, he's acting like he wasn't talking about Aries or anybody related to Aries. By the way, fans started comparisons as to who is better between Aries and Pretty, which left them trending on Twitter for days. Some fans even said that Pretty Ugly was a way better rapper than Aries. Which might have triggered A. Reese, who came out with a tweet saying that I need to update my SoundCloud. And a few days after that, he dropped a track called Tough Luck featuring his brother Jay Jody. He had lines saying, You throwing dead on my name because you washed up. Referencing Pretty Ugly's album named soil soil being dead you throwing dead on my name because you washed up simply meaning you're doing all that to sell records because you ain't popping and there were also some other lines saying i remember praying for a lump sum now me and big bro eating that's pot love record labels couldn't hush us and he was definitely referencing the situation with Ambitious which Aries, J Jody and Pretty Ugly at some point even though at separate times were signed to. Obviously they were getting paid a lump sum but the line saying record labels couldn't hush us references Pretty Ugly situation with Ambitious because after he left Ambitious there was a time where his project was taken off of streaming platforms and he came out to accuse Ambitious in some tweets that are now deleted. But he later came out to say that he apologizes to Ambitious as he has now realized that it wasn't Ambitious or whatever. Aries is saying record labels couldn't hush us. Reese also had a line saying you preaching to the choir with no congregation which was a reference to Pretty Ugly's wife Buntley who came out saying that her husband is a good rapper but fans disagreed. So he's saying you're making music to your family and nobody else is listening. Hence the line you preaching to the choir with no congregation. And after that it had officially gotten real. Aries had made his first public response with an entire track dedicated to Pretty Ugly. Although I doubt he'll ever admit to it. 
and pretty ugly wasted no time he came back with a track which was dropped solely on his ig called who and smoke we sat on his instagram for more than a day without really picking up until zanzi a list just uploaded the track on youtube and broke it down which helped it gain more traction which you guys have to note because it will be referenced later in the track he had a line saying yeah i had your new release and i thought that shit was back yeah i heard your new release and i thought that it was sweet uh. we bleep but maybe it's just me and he also made fun of aries's cheesy type style of rapping saying say with your chest and don't be choking on these beats learn to say it with your chest and don't be choking on me <laughs> the best at the rest just go put it in your feet which you guys have to reference because aries did respond to that line and he also responded to aries coming at him with his brother saying that you're an army i'm an ammo that's gonna make your soldiers bleed if you're an army i'm the ammo that's gonna make your soldiers bleed and as well, there's a potential shade to Aries' fanbase saying it's physics how Islam slithers isn't really my business. Physics how Islam slithers isn't really my business. Who else spoke with me? Who else spoke with me? I'll say Reese because you know he's uh, the slams are in my mentions like a lot. You know? And that this track got fans hyped up because that was not just a funky diss. Pretty Ugly had proven to be a serious rapper, with much of Aries' fanbase complimenting that track. And I also felt that the track was really dope and I wanted more. And as time went by, Aries dropped a trailer showing him put someone in the boot and tell them to apologize. apologize. It later became apparent that that scene was so similar to Pretty Ugly's 2015 Polar Boot music video scene. Better than me. I better than all of us. Better than you. I don't wear all whack. Whack. Stop. But Aries claimed it was inspired by a movie called The Gentleman, which also had a scene similar to that one. But then Aries and his brother dropped a track called Ridiculous a day later with a new alter ego called Blue Tape. And the track literally said, Don't be ridiculous. In that very same hook, Jay Jody had a line saying, You get too excited for the cam like you will the first time you pull up to Bel Air. Don't be ridiculous. Or born a learn a radical end. You get excited too much for the cam like you go the first time when you put up to Bel Air. And most people miss that line. And yes, it was for pretty. Don't be ridiculous. Or born a learn a radical end. You get excited too much for the cam like you go the first time when you put up to Bel Air. It referenced Pretty Ugly's interview with Brad Barish, who's the CEO of alcoholic brand Bel Air, wherein Pretty Ugly was smiling out of excitement of being interviewed by the dude. Which was the same video that Rick Ross commented in with a fire emoji. Hence the line, you get too excited for the cam like you will the first time you pull up to Bel Air. People missed it. Don't be ridiculous. Or born a learn a radical end. You get excited too much for the cam like you will the first time when you pull up to Bel Air. Aries also had a line saying, them niggas really confused me. Go ahead and google it. You'll see, you might even find it on YouTube. And that is YouTube. That reference is pretty ugly this track which broke out on YouTube and is still largely available here on the channel. Them niggas really confused me. Go ahead and google it. You'll see. You might even find it on UT. That's the diss track. He's referencing the diss track. It's on UT. And A reach has a line saying, you niggas is better off beef squashing and you better off acting tough on these beats. After Pretty Ugly's against the line, we said, if you want it, learn to say it with your chest and don't be choking on these beats. Learn to say it with your chest and don't be choking on me. <laughs> the best at the rest, just go put it in your feet. Yeah, you niggas is better off green squashing. You better off off on them greens, cousin. And we highly believe that J. Jody's line saying, don't be ridiculous and pull up on me with your gimmick was a response to Pretty Ugly saying that he would make them bleed. If you an army, I'm the ammo that's gonna make your soldiers bleed. Let them scavenge on your maggots, I'ma let the vultures see. Don't be ridiculous. Pull up on me with your gun. Fuck did he just say? Don't be ridiculous. But to be honest, the ridiculous track did address other people too. Or at least some other people feel other rappers were included and other media personalities. 
and more specifically Casper Invest. And that is after Casper said that SA Hip Hop is dead on the Banks and Venom podcast, as well as inciting it in his tweets. Of which Jay Jody did respond to in a tweet where he was saying something along the lines of SA Hip Hop is not dead and don't let the double agents confuse you. And so they think that line saying I will never play for a new team was referring to Casper since he switched to Ama Piano. And they're saying that Bonang part was for Casper insinuating that SA Hip Hop has been dead ever since he left. Where? On earth? No. Oh, in the world or in the universe or no, I no, not that I'm aware of. Which would make sense a bit because Aries in the description did say that the track was to address cultural vultures as well, which is what people are calling Casper the best after moving to Ama Piano from hip hop. By the way, man, back to Aries and Pretty Ugly. Do you guys think that there is indeed something going on between Aries and Pretty Ugly? Or are you guys saying maybe we may be just reading too much into the whole situation? Comment down, let me know what you guys think about it, and I'll respond to your comments with my own thoughts as well. And if you like the video, please give a thumbs up because it actually does the channel. And please do not forget to subscribe for my updates, for my updates on your fave celebrities.